Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Local Pundit. I'm Josh Anthony. This is your Wrexham reaction for Match Day 39, where Wrexham fell 1-0 to Tranmere Rovers at the Stoke Carras. It's our third loss at home this season. Only our third loss of the season, but it was one that uh, could have been avoided, in my opinion. Uh, we we did press them in. We're going to get into all that. Got some things we're going to talk about uh, today. So, um, you know, smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you know, really enjoyed our chats afterwards yesterday with the Post 90. Uh, and get ready for some of the other stuff that's coming up with uh, with some of those other um, uh, channels and lads. Lots of fun stuff uh, coming on, on, on our channel and their channel. So, um, uh, smash a like on the video. Let's get into it right now. As you can see on the thumbnail, it says now or never. Now, granted, I will say that wasn't the, uh, the that wasn't the straw that broke the camel's back. That wasn't the nail in the coffin. But uh, we are running out, out of um, we're running out of room here. Uh, there's a lot that went down yesterday uh, in regards to like some some results that went away with uh, it, but some some didn't. Obviously, Mansfield Town won. Stockport didn't play. They're going to play, I think, on Monday. But uh, we are running out of we're running out of room here, and if we don't get serious about wanting to go up and to, and walking through the door, I know we we talked about it on on the shows with Kieran and Ivan. Um, you know, we could be we, we could be in, we could be in trouble. We could be out of third, and even worse, we could possibly be um, you know in the playoffs, uh, which out of third or out of those playoffs if, if things don't go right. Yes, we have eight games left to go, but uh, we have to look in the mirror and we have to figure out if we want to go up or we don't. Um, yesterday's game, yes, uh, we're going to talk about it. Some of the things I wrote down, um, some of the things I wrote down that Parkinson said. I just watched his interview uh, for the first time, um, for the first time just now. Um, doesn't look like a broken man to me. I don't think he's lost the dressing room, but there's some we have to. Uh, it's not Parkinson's fault uh, completely, but yesterday we, you know, we we did dominate the game in in phases, but it wasn't. Um, we, we just can't lose that match. I guess you could say I, we just cannot lose that match. And uh, there was a lot of talk yesterday and a really good time in that post 90 um, with everybody. But, uh, you know, we just for me, we just can't lose that match. They are they were going into this in 16th place um, and we're fighting to go up. We have to go on and win this game. Um, so, you know, it's 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 but to me again now or never. We're dropping too many points uh, and we're playing too close to the third rail. And if we're not careful. You know we're gonna get stung. We we will get stung. We'll look back like, hmm. You know, um, we gotta. You know, we should we should have done better that game. It's like you know there were there were there were moments and uh, the stats the stats are are outstanding outrageous. Um, twenty five shots on goal. Twenty five shots only four on goal. Twenty five shots only four on goal. Fifty five uh, percent uh, possession. Um, you know they had we had nine corners to their four. We had seven falls. They had ten. You know we did dominate again. Like I say in the times that I'm. Kind of jump around a bit. I, I, I'm just getting a little bit frustrated. I think everyone's getting frustrated. You can see it on the pitch yesterday. Uh, the starting lineup to me uh, was fine. It was it was okay. It's kind of what I expected. Uh, the bench was more of an interesting thing. Not having not having uh, Marriott on the bench. JM not injured. He's uh, uh, one of the guys. I think Walsh, Be Walsh Beast or Ray or Ramble said that um, you know they saw him. They were at the match and they saw him warming up. So it wasn't an injury thing. But um, you know why? You know why was he not at the bench? Dalby coming on. Why is Dalby coming on? You know. Uh, yes, he did bring uh, Parkinson did bring on uh, players early. Uh, but um, you know. That first half, uh, that first half, we did dominate. We were on top, but we, you know, we had a quick free kick. Uh, they ca they countered on the counter. Um, Cannon had a bad pass, uh, kind of like flubbed it a little bit, and then he was Jenny on the spot, their their player, and put him in the back of the net. And it's one nil, and then all of a sudden, like their tails are up. Great knee slide, by the way, too, by their player. Um, and you know they were up for it. I'm not saying we weren't up for it, but again, it's now or never. We need to start taking these points. We cannot lose these games, especially now. Like. How you know last year we had this push, and they said it's the Wrexham way that they're gonna you know that we make it hard on ourselves. Well, right now we're making it hard on ourselves. Yeah, we are absolutely making this hard on ourselves. Do we really want to go up? Do we do the players want to go look at each other, take take the games by the scruff of the neck, and go up and play uh, the way we know we can play? I didn't think Palmer had his best match. You know, Fletcher when he came on, his touch was off. Uh, Mullen would tried his ass off. A couple, you know, a couple clip. Things could have went different. There were crosses coming in. I would love. I don't know how many crosses went, went, went in yesterday, but there were crosses coming in. Uh, header just wide. Um, you know, it could have been a little bit different. That ball goes in the back of the net. Things happen. You know, um, you know, it, it could have been a different match. We could have turned it around. We, you know, we usually dominate these teams. And something that uh, something that Parkinson said in, the, in what I just watched. And again, by the way, pause. I apologize uh, for the setup. 
Sometimes when I'm down here, uh, it's a full house, so I can only get to where I need to be to put this out to you. Um, so that's why the background. So I apologize for the setup. Uh, normally, normally it doesn't look this bad. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look this bad. So just wanted to put that out there too. Um, so on that, on that uh, Parkinson was saying, he's like, he said uh, we needed the balance between uh, playing intense, having an, uh, being intense and have more balance, um, have better clarity and decisions in the final third. He said they pinned him into the first 35. This is Parkinson. Uh, it's the second half. They changed. We changed our shape. They changed their shape. We went to a back four. It was a bit frantic. And he said we had control of the second half. Granted, I think we did have control of the second half, but was it useful control, you know? Um, we were, you know, he said, uh, he said the results today, we had 25 attempts on goal, which we mentioned 25 attempts, four shots on goal. Sorry about that. He said, it's not enough quality that be for the players that we have a uh, great moment. And we didn't take that. We created great moments. We didn't take that. It's frustrating. The lads gave their all. We can find the final moment, you know, things like that. He's saying, again, I don't think he's a broken man. Uh, you can see he's uh, probably a bit frustrated himself, but it's kind of the same old stuff over and over again. Game like that tomorrow, teams in 16th place, we got to go. We got to win that match. Um, he said we had all the frustration, all the possession, uh, frustration uh, crept in. Uh, we maintained the speed of play. Okay, fair enough. Um, when it, he said you need, need to be a little bit more, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, you need to be a little bit smarter. Went to cross, went to shoot, went to take an extra pass. He said we had so many crosses going to the box and we couldn't get a goal. Uh, in the in prior games, we punished them for that. Um, but we need to show be a little bit more ruthless uh, on the edge of the box uh, when we get into the final final third. Uh, final third. <clears throat> again, again, ruthless. Yes, um, you know, Maka wasn't there. Obviously, uh, Elliot Lee trying too hard didn't need to take that foul in the, in the middle of the, in the beginning half uh, to get that yellow card. He was pulling out of challenges. Uh, I like I like him in the middle of the park. Uh, pushed up a little bit higher uh, because he, he sits in this pocket on that left side and Mendy and him kind of get in, get each other's way. Uh, Elliot Lee tries to cut in. His crosses were off yesterday. Um, he tries to shoot on this half curl instead of taking like a uh, like a real sh you know, striker shot or, or cam shot. Uh, he tries he tries to curl it in and that to me isn't working. So I don't know what we need to do to figure that out. But, you know, we, it, it was like we talked about being a dominant performance. We we're all over them. Was it really like some of the things that like it could have went a little bit different here and there? And I know I'm jumping around a bit. I think it has to do with just a little bit more of frustration. It's like we should be playing better. Um, we should be playing better. A uh, positive note, and it's kind of like a positive, and I don't know. I just heard this now. Um, Stash did come on. God damn it. He's such a good ball player. Steps on the ball, looks around, closed the game down, gets the ball out wide. You know, he did do that wide, got Barney. Uh, Barney, you know, I thought his decision making was okay. I probably would have started Bolton yesterday, and if Bolt came on, he was good. But having Stash back out of pitch is great. Here's the thing: took a whack on his knee. He just said this. Uh, he took a bad whack on his knee, and we don't know how bad it is. Um, and he said, uh, and he's and he's like, okay, great. When he came on, he comes on and gets a whack on his knee. Obviously, saw O'Connell get get busted up yesterday, punched the ground. I hope he's okay. You know, we can't like O'Connell's been one of our most important players. Uh, in the last, well, granted, we're not winning everything, but O'Connell at the back uh, has been one of our most important players. Uh, and I, we need Stash to come back, to come and play in that middle of the park because we need to change some things up in the middle of the park and have somebody to stand on the ball and make great passes. I believe that he is, uh, Tom O'Connor is a CDM, plays in the middle of the park and is better there than at the back because I think our back line is, is pretty solid, even though the goal we gave up, um, yes, it was on a break, but I, I thought that the back line was 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 pretty good. Max got man of the match yesterday. I thought he did play well. Boyle played well. Like I said, there were things all over the park that that played well. But we have to we have to look in the mirror. Like it's now or never. Are you win these games? Are we going to go through or not? Um, Boyle again. Uh, I know he gets criticism because he got sent off when he came back. He wasn't fit, but he's been very very solid. He wins his header. He clears his lines. He keeps it. He keeps it. Uh, he keeps shoulder to shoulder. He's he, he's very vocal out there. Um, you know, uh, more importantly, I just thought we would go and kick on a bit more. Uh, but again, yesterday we, we didn't, we didn't, um, for some of the other games. So it's very, very frustrating. Um, so we don't know about stash. Okay. Him just coming back. We don't know about him. We need him back. Uh, and I said, those are the two key, uh, another key guy between him and between geo. We don't know the status of geo. Those two guys need, we need, if we're going to actually put, put things together and, um, and get promoted, whether whether it be by automatically winning the league, which winning the league, I know Mansfield are running away with it a bit. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, Mansfield are at uh, 40, uh, 72 points. And Stockport are at uh, 67 points with us. We're, we're at the same point straw as Stockport. Um, 
but uh, Stockport have 36 have 36 games played. We played 38. MK Don's, um, you know, MK Don's crew. Uh, MK Don's is place is going to play such a factor in this. Um, it's it's crazy, but we need to have our players back, and we need to we need to have a little more quality than than we're presenting, and get service up front that isn't long balls. Um, you know. Let me see here. So he said, uh, last thing on Parkinson, what he said here was, uh, we looked looked like he can get a goal, but we were too open at that point. Yeah, and then second half when we switched sides, when when Stash came out, we were too open because we you know, we were we were going for it. And yeah, when you have twenty five shots and four on target, uh, twenty five shots, no one in the league is having twenty five shots and four on target. It's just you know, it's it's very frustrating. Uh, I know there's a lot of Parkinson back and forth there, and everyone's everyone's uh, you know has their opinion on Parkinson and where they're at. Uh, where they're at with him and it's and uh, it does get it does get frustrating and it's not he doesn't play go out and play the games but he does see it set the team up I do want to know how we're like we're like how we're going to fix this what are we going to do it's so late in the season you know um but it like again we're either going to do this or we're not and uh it becomes it becomes very very frustrating um very very frustrating to see this now talking about after the match after the match, there were some boos, and I wanted to bring this up. I know it's stupid, but I saw this after the match, and this is kind of more. This is kind of more of this a, um, uh, you know, just a glorified uh, headline. But it did happen. Um, it did happen. Ryan and Rob haven't heard that before. Wrexham booed off by home fans at a dismal one 0 defeat to Tranmere Rovers. Uh, granted, it's a little bit of clickbait. I'll give you that. Um, but what did happen? Yeah, we suffered our third loss yesterday. We missed a chance to go second after the league. A wasteful display on Saturday following the defeat controversy. Luke Norris's first half goal. Uh, fans vented the displeasure, something uh, co-owners Ryan and Rob um, were not accustomed to since they since they took over. Uh, there's the man we're talking about. What Phil Parkinson said. Rexham, uh, the Rexham boss said after the loss. Um, I think if you if you look around. Look around the country and the results today. We have 25 attempts, which we just talked about. I don't think there will be many teams that have had that, but but four on target on would have had that, but four on target is not enough for the quality we have got. Clear and present danger right there. That's exactly what it is. We needed to work the goalkeeper more today. Uh, we have had some great moments, and football is all about uh, taking them, and we did not. We were on, we were not able to do that, so it's a very frustrating. It's very frustrating for us. Uh, for us, so the bigger picture here too. Yes, yeah, is it? Um, and I'm reading this article for, for the first time. I just saw the headline, uh, which uh, was it's kind of a clickbait on here. Uh, the bigger picture is Wrexham still have a chance to secure back to back promotions. Yes, we do, as they sit ter- third, third, <laughs> third, as they sit third uh, in the final automatic promotion spot. However. The fourth place MK Dons are only behind them on goal difference, at, um, and this match was great chance for to leapfrog Stockport into second place. Yes, MK Dons are going to be the link, the linchpin uh, in all this. Uh, Parkinson's um, uh, Parkinson's Wrexham are next in League Two away in the relegation threatened Grimsby Town on Saturday, who drew one one yesterday. By the way, uh, March twenty third before taking on the top of the table Mansfield on Friday, March 29th. Holy crap. I mean, and all that said, I mean, think about that. Um, what we have coming up, uh, what we have coming up and bring this up here it is it's insane. Yes. Uh, Grimsby town next Saturday, uh, in Mansfield on Friday, which is an odd one. That's probably, I bet you that's going to be on, uh, I bet you that's an ESPN and Doncaster, Colchester, Crawley town, forest green crew, um, and then Stockport. I mean, the, there's six pointers here all over the place. I mean, at this point, everything is a cup match. Everything's a six, six pointer. Uh, Grimsby are trying to fight to stay out of uh, to sh- try to stay out of the bottom bottom two to go down. Uh, Doncaster, eh, not that much. Colchester are also trying to fight. Crawley Town are where are Crawley Town in this in this thing here? Crawley Town are middle of the pack and tenth. There, they're in middle of the pack and tenth. Um, and uh, four screen overs fighting to stay up. And for fighting skill for them, crew obviously fighting to stay in the playoffs. They 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 did lose yesterday to MK Dons and Stockport. I mean, these are all it's 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 not, it, again. <laughs> I keep saying it. It's now or never. What are we doing? We cannot be dropping points. We cannot lose one nil at home um, to a team that was in 16 plays yesterday. It just cannot happen. Um, it just really cannot happen. And the frustration, uh, the boos that came out yesterday are you know I'm I don't like booing. I don't think that's what's necessarily uh, necessarily what we should be about. But again, it's the frustration that's coming in. You could see on the on the after 90 yesterday, even during the match, uh, I thought Ivan was going to pull his hair out. And I'm not talking about the hair on his head. I'm talking about the hair on his beard. Um, frustration set in. Um, and we, we, we have to figure out if it's like, you know, are we going to walk through the door or are we going to not, we don't have to uh, have it walk us by. And I do still think we will go up. I do still think we will go up. Um, but 
uh, things need to things need to fall into place on our side of things. We need to do our business. We can't rely on everyone else to do the business for us. Yes, MK Dons won yesterday, but now they're creeping up. We're we're saying gold diff. I mean, I, we're we're only ahead of them on gold difference. Um, there is that true? Yeah, MK Dons sixty. We have and it's only six. It's only six goals, which isn't that much. In the grand scheme of things, you never know in this league. Anything can happen. But um, by the way, again, I'm going to give you the MK Dons run in while we're here. The MK Dons run in. They play everybody. I mean, I'm talking everybody. They play Stockport. They just play Crew. They play Walsall. They play Knotts. They play Forest, Mansfield, Harrogate, not so much. Sutton, not so much. But they play everybody who had who has something to say for the rest of this league. What's going to happen? I mean, they are they are going to. They're it's so, they play they play everyone around us. They play the, the low teams. But for us, what we're particularly thinking about Wrexham. You know they're gonna play. Uh, they're gonna play a big role in how this is gonna shape up for the rest of the for the rest of the season, the rest of the eight games. But again, we have to do our job. We have to go out. And we have to do our job. We have to make it happen on our own. Um, and we can't rely on other another on on other. Um, ooh, uh, Anthony just scored for Manchester United. There you go. Sorry, I just I uh, got that United game on down here. Uh, it's uh, now what is the score? I think it's two two United versus Liverpool in the FA Cup. Uh, again, it's ten fifteen as I'm as I'm putting this up right now. Side note. All right. Anyways, back to back to uh, Wrexham. Um, we cannot rely on other teams for us to get us promoted. We have to do our job like we did last year. We we you know we had we, we are getting pushed by Notts County, who by the way, our Notts County just literally took a took a dump. I mean, they are they like they lost five or five in a row. Definitely, they're in seventeenth place. You know, I, I feel I actually feel bad for them. Um, they had a lot of good players, they had a lot of good talent. They should they should be better. Anyways, we cannot rely on other teams to do our job. We have to do this. And I think the players that need to look themselves in the mirror. Mullen, oh, I thought he was firing uh, a couple of games ago. Obviously, he had a hat trick and he played played well. Had some uh, really great uh, attempts um, a couple of games ago. Even you know yesterday he missed a header. But um, you know we got to get him firing again. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, yesterday the Palmer and him did not work. The Palmer and him did not work. And granted. They, and as we said in a couple of games before, they really do like playing together. You could see it, but it just, the magic wasn't there. The, the mix wasn't there. Uh, we got a bunch of crosses in the box. Um, well, Elliot Lee needs to step up. Elliot Lee, Elliot Lee needs to step up and be the player we know he is. He carried us in the first half of the season, or first couple of months of the season. I think he has 15 or 16 goals at this point. Uh, he needs to step up. We need to have Stash healthy. God, I hope his knee isn't effed up. Uh, we have, how about Connell? AO really didn't do that much yesterday. Well, the goal was not his fault. He's been solid. He had his wobble. He's been solid. Um, but you know, the players on the pitch need to we need to need to take care of business. Left side, Mendy. Uh, Mendy to me sometimes, you know, he is a very solid player. Um, he he's a really herky jerky, like dinks back on his right to cross it in. Uh, you know, his overlap isn't quite working on that left side with uh, it's not quite working on the left side with um, because uh, Lee's out there, so I think that's not working. Something needs to be figured out there. I, I think I think Lee, uh, sorry, I think uh, Mendy should still be in that starting lineup. That is probably our best back three and left um, on the right side. Uh, here's what I would do. Uh, Barney's not a bad player. I thought he's had a couple, you know, a couple. A couple of good games is always you know decently solid. He took a knock yesterday too. I don't know how bad that is, but he did take a knock himself. Um, give Bolt a shot. Give Bolt a shot. I think Bolton should be starting on on um, on Saturday against Grimsby Town. I'd also give JM a start next to Mullen. Give it a shot. Try something new. Change it up. It's not that big of a change. I know he likes big and little. I know Fletcher. Um, I know he's probably going to do J uh, Fletcher and he'll do uh, Mullen. But give JM a shot. Like what? Dolby's just not. Dolby's just not. You know he's he's a, he's a leads a little bit more. He's just not. He's not speed. He doesn't have much speed. His, his passing was way off yesterday. Hold up play was awful. Um, but is you know, give JM and Mullen a start with Bolt. Put those three. See, just see if we can do that. We need to get these three points. I don't care. Hook or crook, got to get the three points. Right now, I'm looking at. Um, I'm looking at uh, Grimsby. They're in 21st place. They're not going to come to lay down. Grimsby's not going to come to lay down. They're just sitting above. Uh, they're, they're they're six points above the relegation zone. Okay, fine. Four screen, but um, you know. Give give uh, I give JM and I give Mullen a shot and I definitely would start Bolton over over Barney on the right side. When Bolton came on, he was trying things. He was speedy. He was aggressive. Um, he put himself about. Please just do something like that. I will give Car Parkey credit. He did bring on subs earlier. I know they talked about it. He did bring on subs about sixty third minute or so. But um, 
just the magic wasn't there. But do a little bit something different. I'm hoping Stash is a, a, a better. Maca, we're still going to miss. Um, but uh, maybe sit Lee. I don't know. Maybe sit Lee down. But that's probably not what he's going to do. Um, he's probably not going to do that. He's probably not going to do that. But anyway, what else? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's it was a, it was a frustrating loss, and I feel bad for everyone that traveled there to go see the match. Um, and and uh, grant, uh, granted, you know, it's booing afterwards, and I go back to this booing afterwards isn't isn't what isn't what is I, I believe in. I don't think you should be booing. I think that's crap. But you know, people are frustrated. Uh, it sounds like Parkins frustrated, and the players are frustrated, and the fans are frustrated too. We want to go up. We want to see this happen. Um, so we shall see. Uh, it's going to be. No Tuesday games could be a long week of trying to sort this out, and hopefully the players can get better. I'm hoping Stash is not injured. I hope Geo can get back to full fitness, um, and I hope that um, I'm hoping a lot, but I hope that we can look in the mirror and say it's it's time, it's time. We're 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 flying too close to the sun here because we're running out of uh, we're, we're running out of points, and some teams could hit. This league is so crazy. This, some teams can hit at the right time because I believe right now it is basically a knockout tournament. There's gonna be there's like you know, it's a knockout tournament. Man, anyone, any 16th place, we lost one nil yesterday. Jesus, you know, and they celebrated on our pitch, which caused a little bit of argy bargy, a little bit of you know afters. Uh, they celebrated on our pitch, and you know, we should take that. We should take that to heart, and we should take that into the next game and bring that aggression. And we're going to talk about that th this week. Um, so, yeah, tough one yesterday. Tough one yesterday. Now or never for me. He said it wasn't the uh, wasn't the nail in the coffin for us, but. It at this point, it's like we are running out of of, of room. So, all right. Uh, I think uh, some of the other guys are going to do a show later. Um, so check them out. Uh, Ramble and Horde and uh, the Red Horde uh, Racecourse Ramble is going to do a show later on. I think Zuno Live one might pop on there. Uh, this is Rexham. I'm just giving a shout out to the guys. This is Rexham. Sean's got a show back up, so check him out. Uh, also, the Welsh Beast and uh, Baz as well. So go check out the other guys. Uh, got a really good growing community. As you can saw yesterday, we did the show with uh, with Ivan came on and Sheldon came on uh, during the match uh, for the watch along. And then afterwards, we went off and had a had a had a big uh, had a big shot. And Kieran too. Shout out to Kieran, by the way. Um, give, give give respect to him, uh, Kieran, for doing that. So thank you all very much. Smash a like if you haven't. Road to 500. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think we have uh, 80, so I think about 20 to go. We're army crawling, just getting fighting and army crawling it uh, to get there. So we're almost at our 500, our goal, our initial goal before we hit the thousand, obviously, which is a bigger goal. Um, also, to what else? We go do shows all week. We'll do live shows and recorded shows this week. Uh, just going to get a heads up on that. I'll be back up, back up home uh, tomorrow afternoon, but we'll do live shows this week. Have some guests come on. Maybe we'll work out with some of the other guys as well. Uh, to get on some of the other shows as well. So, all right. Um, game, uh, no game on Tuesday, like I mentioned. Game next Saturday. So on that bombshell, thank you all for joining. I will see you soon.